Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya. Hello, everyone. So today I'm very excited to announce to you our upcoming China pilgrimage trip. Uh, some of you may already know from our website um, there was a mistake on the date, so we have already corrected. So the trip will begin from the 19th of October to the 29th of October. So why this day and why such short notice? Because I've only been informed about three weeks ago I will be going to the World Buddhist Conference in China to assist with translation. So I will be at Jinling Temple on the 10th of October and from there Master Yunshan and I will go to the World Buddhist Conference. So some of you say, oh, I also want to visit Jinling Temple. If you want to visit Jinling Temple while I'm there, you can also arrive China earlier, maybe on the 10th of October. But after that, maybe on the 14th uh, of October, I will go to the World Buddhist Conference in Ningbo. And this conference is invite only and you can't really attend unless you're invited. So maybe for those days, you can stay at the temple, do your own thing. And after we can meet at Taiyuan on the 19th of October to begin our pilgrimage. So where will we go this time? We will first pay homage to Mount Wutai, the Bodhimanda of Bodhisattva Manjushri. This is one of the four holy Buddhist mountains in China. And this mountain is extremely sacred and is the most visited pilgrimage site in China for both Chinese and Tibetan Buddhists. So we'll stay there for five days and four nights. And after that, we will visit uh, the world famous Hanging Temple, Yungang Grottoes, and Longmen Grottoes. So all of the three sites I mentioned are UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and they all have a history over 1,500 plus years. And what's so incredible about China is that there are just so many ancient historical heritage sites that are just so incredible and awe-inspiring. I, just any one of them is all inspiring and we're going to see so many of them on this trip. So we will uh, basically visit many historical sites in Shanxi province. So Shanxi province now is an extremely popular uh, destination for tourists because of also this new video game that came out called Wukong, where in this video game, a lot of sceneries, the temples that were shown in the video game was actually from Shanxi province. So I don't play games, but even I heard of it. So you could imagine how popular it is. And so now many people want to go to Shanxi to visit all these ancient uh, historical sites. And what's so incredible about China is that a lot of temples you visit a lot of these sites, they all have the history over 1,500 plus years. It's just so incredible as uh, one of the four ancient civilizations in this world. Uh, China really, really has a lot, a lot to offer. I'm saying this not because I'm Chinese, and not just because I'm Chinese, but really I found my own experience, my own traveling, China is the country that I love to uh, go back and visit uh, as many times as possible because there are just so many places to see. It's not enough to see all of them in just a few trips. So each year we will do a China pilgrimage to different historical sites, uh, different uh, Buddhist temples, different routes. And there are just so many places that I haven't visited, I really, really want to go. And after we toured Shanxi, we will go to the ancient city of Luoyang. So Luoyang is in Henan province. So Luoyang used to be the ancient capital of China for over 1,500 years. So this really ancient city with incredibly rich history and culture, and also Buddhist culture, so it's most famous for the world-renowned Shaolin Temple with its martial arts that's so popular all over the world. Uh, but actually Shaolin Temple is most famous for Chan Buddhism and not just its martial arts, it's the origin 
of Chan Buddhism in China, right? where Bodhidharma, when he first came to China, he sat in meditation for nine years at the back mountain of Shaolin Temple. So Shaolin Temple is one of the most historically significant temples in China. And I'm really looking forward to visit Shaolin Temple. I'm also a fan of Shaolin Kung Fu, although I can't do any Kung Fu. And in Luoyang, we'll also visit the Longmen Grottoes. The Yungang Grottoes and Longmen Grottoes are two out of the three most famous grottoes in China with a history over 1,500 years. Anything in China is like over 1,500, 1,600 years. So with great Buddha statues, like thousands of uh, Buddhas and Bodhisattva statues, right? it would definitely be an eye-opening experience. And we'll also visit the White Horse Temple. So the White Horse Temple in Luoyang is the first temple in China. So why is it called the White Horse Temple? So Emperor Ming of the Donghan Dynasty, one night he dreamed of a golden Buddha that came into his palace. And next morning he told his ministers about his dream and asked if anyone knew who this golden person could be. And someone said, oh, I heard there's a holy being in India, from India called the Buddha. And then Emperor Ming decided to send people to go and look for the Buddhist sutras. So at that time there was no Buddhism in China and while they were on their way to India they happened to encounter two monks who were actually on their way to China and want to spread the Dharma. So their names are Kashepa Mantaka and Dhammaratna. So when these two monks arrived in Luoyang the emperor build a temple for them and name it the White Horse Temple to appreciate the effort of the white horses that carry all the Buddhist sutras, statues and monks to China. So that's why the temple was called the White Horse Temple. And in that temple they translated the first ever sutra that's been translated into Chinese. It's called the Sutra of the 42 Chapters. A very easy to read sutra with profound teachings by the Buddha. So I'm really looking forward to this trip. I trust it will be once in a lifetime, unforgettable memories for all of us who will go on to this trip. So for Mount Wutai, this time we also collaborated with one of the most professional Buddhist pilgrimage tours in China, uh, in Mount Wutai. So, uh, because I'm also not so familiar with Mount Wutai, so I collaborated uh, with these professionals and I trust that they will arrange the best tour for us and the rest tour will go by ourselves. So this time I feel I'm much more experienced and organized than uh, my first time, which happened in April. And I trust we'll do better and better each time as we have more experiences in organizing tours like this. Okay, so I look forward to seeing uh, maybe some of you in China and if you can't attend this one, that's also fine. In the future, we'll also have more pilgrimage tours, but likely we will go to different places because there are just so many uh, places that I want to see and I haven't seen. So all the details about this trip, it's available on our website and I look forward to seeing some of you in China and if you have any questions, feel free to email us. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya.